Hi, I'm Marvin Plackett and today is Wednesday, April 29th. Greetings to all residents, to all staff and all guests. So today is different. <clears throat> uh, we have our first confirmed case of COVID-19. And in fact, that's why I'm starting here six or seven minutes late because we just found out an hour ago. And so I've been gathering information uh, right up to the last second here. <clears throat> Uh, this staff, staff person has no symptoms and the only reason they got tested is because this person's roommate tested positive after having some symptoms. Uh, this staff person works in the kitchen part-time at Episcopal Church Home. They have no direct contact with residents and only a few staff and they have no part in direct food preparation. Over the last hour, we immediately took the action steps of extra thorough sanitation of this person's work area and making a list of all other staff that this person would have been in close contact with over the last several days. <clears throat> all staff that are at risk will be departing our premises and will not be allowed to work until they have self-quarantined per CDC and Minnesota Department of Health guidelines. This person's last shift was on Monday, two days ago. We've also contacted the Minnesota Department of Health to get their direction on what added measures we should be taking, if any. And then of course the health department, through their staff, they also reach out to any community contacts that this person might have had as well and do that contact tracing. <clears throat> we all need to deal in facts and not fears. Staying calm and supporting one another through reaching out is a good thing. Creating unnecessary hype is a bad thing. We leaders, we managers, are remaining steady and remaining calm. We're here. We continue to lead as we typically would. We're dealing in facts and not fears. We will keep you informed as rapidly as possible of any updates. Things evolve and you will be informed. Now more than ever, we need to abide by the rules that we have in place. And you've heard them repeatedly, but I need to restate them. We, in particular, have our social distancing, so staying six feet apart. We have our communities and our zones, remaining in our communities, remaining in our zones. Anytime we depart from our rooms or our apartments, we need to have our masks on. Staff need to have their masks on at all times. Frequent hand washing. All these measures are really important, particularly now, all right? So thank you for doing your part in that regard. It makes a huge difference, particularly the social distancing, staying at least six feet apart. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with updates at 1.30. And over the next 24 hours, you might also receive updates through our phone system and possibly a paper flyer. We'll see. We'll be in touch. Remember, you are loved. You are our priority. The safety of all residents, of all staff, is our priority. Thank you for your cooperation in doing your part. We're all in this together. Be well.